We begin this afternoon with new video of a police shooting that killed an 88-year-old man. West Sacramento police just releasing body cam footage of the deadly encounter. Thanks for joining us. I'm Adrienne Moore. And I'm Curtis Ming. The 88-year-old victim used to volunteer for the same department that ended his life. That day, police say he pulled a gun on them at a crime scene. CBS 13's Tony Lopez with what this video shows. Tony? And in this video, Curtis and Adrian and everyone else, you will hear an officer flip a switch in a heartbeat, going from a calm conversation to realizing his life was in danger. It's from the morning of September 12th. 88 year old Robert Coleman was shot and killed after getting out of his car with a gun in his hand. Now, the former police volunteer, according to his family and friends, was struggling with suicidal thoughts and mental illness. Keep that in mind as we continue this story. This incident had nothing to do with the original call that early morning. Officers were responding to a call of a man in his 30s carrying a gun on West Capitol Avenue. Police found and detained the man, and that's when another car driven by Coleman pulled up behind the officer's patrol car. This is what happened next. Hey, how's it going, sir? Can I help you? Oh, Shots fired. Shots fired. Put down the gun! Put it down! Put down the gun! Shots fired. 88 year old Robert Coleman was killed. Police shared a picture of the gun he was holding. No officers were hurt in this incident. Davis Police is the outside agency West Sac PD will use to investigate this shooting as you take a look at uh, the scene from that morning. Just moments ago, Coleman's family, two of his daughters, spoke with us. I actually viewed the um, video, and due to the situation, the officers had to respond. It was tragic, but they had to respond. To see him suffer was so heartbreaking. To see him suffer with mental illness. And you just don't think that will happen to your family. On top of the mental health aspect of this, there is a sad coincidence to this story. The West Sacramento Police Department said Coleman had a long history as an employee, working as a code enforcement officer in the 90s, a parking enforcement officer, and finally as a police volunteer before retiring back in 2004. He was also close friends with longtime Mayor Christopher Cabalin. We'll have much more to this story, including the important aspect of getting help if you're dealing with mental health crisis. That's tonight on CBS 13 News, so stick with us. Curtis? Mm, such an important conversation to have. All right, Tony, thank you. This